Hey everyone, Caleb with Antique Book Collective, and today I wanted to get to you guys with an interesting little thing, and that is the kinds of bookstores or types of bookstores that you can run as basically just a book fanatic. If you're a book fanatic like me, you've thought about running your own bookstore at some point in time. So this uh, video obviously has to do with the other bookstore uh, video that I made not too long ago, uh, the fun parts of making your own bookstore, and that was me just wanting, and now, sorry, I am just wanting to get to you guys with the types of bookstores that you can feed feasibly run if you are into books, if that's your passion, that sort of stuff. So if you're just a normal eBay seller, uh, maybe it's not worth watching this video, but at the same time, maybe it'll give you a few ideas. So with all that said, I'm just going to go through the list of different kinds of bookstores that you can have. So first off, the most obvious is an online only bookstore, aka an eBay bookstore or an Amazon bookstore, all that sort of stuff. You can either uh, do the eBay store and fulfill it yourself, or you could do an Amazon bookstore and have Amazon fulfill it, or you can fulfill Amazon, all these sorts of things. There's a lot of different ways that you can do it. You can even have your own website. Uh, personally, I've looked into doing my own website. I am still thinking about it. I might in the future. I don't know yet. I'm personally rather busy as it is, and I don't know if I'd expand into that because it'd just be so much more work. I've got so much going on right now, but an online only bookstore could be something you could do. Beyond that, you could do a brick and mortar bookstore, which is what most people think about when they think about a bookstore. Uh, this is just like a Barnes and Noble or a sad face, a Borders. We all need Borders back, guys. I miss Borders. That was a great bookstore. Uh, but lots of different bookstores like that. They have all these bookstores. Some are legendary, some are not. Uh, for me, I live in the Portland area, so we all have Powell's, and Powell's bookstore, I guess, is the best one ever, quote, quote. Uh, I've never been. Don't plan on going. All the books are overpriced from what I've heard, so it's not worth me going as a reseller. Plus, I don't like Portland whatsoever, so I'm not going to go there to buy a book if I can go somewhere else to buy a book, you know? So... There's the brick and mortar ones. You can also do a hybrid model, which is an online and brick and mortar one. So for me, I, that's one of the things that I've personally thought about. I've mentioned in other videos I'm working on moving and where I'm moving, land is cheap enough, property is cheap enough, buildings are cheap enough that it's like, maybe I could start my own brick and mortar hybrid online store and just have it so people can go into my bookstore and buy some of the listings that I have on eBay and go in and pick them up. You know, it's like, maybe I'll try this. I mean, it sounds fun. Uh, it would be something where I'm going, like where I'm going, guys, it's a very rural town. And a lot of the businesses there, they're like, yeah, we're open one day a week. Good luck. And it's really funny because that's like the norm over there. So it's like, for me, I'm sitting here like, yeah, I could totally do a, I could totally sit in my bookstore one day a week and just do that. I, I'm happy with that. Do like a Saturday or whatever, just chill there and be like, ah, books. You know, it's like, I can do that. So that's something that I've thought about and it's something I'm still thinking about and it sounds like it'd be really fun for me. But uh, beyond that, you have those as the three overarching ones, but the types of bookstores that you could have beyond that, it's sort of like subgenres of those. And one of those things is like a genre specific bookstore. I've seen quite a few bookstores where it's just science fiction books, just fantasy books, just non, uh, actually I haven't seen just nonfiction books, but like you could have your entire store be genre specific to stuff like that. There are people who are going to go to your store for those things. However, I must caveat, if you're doing a brick and mortar store, you probably want to have a little more variety than that because otherwise you're just going to have a very small amount of people going in. Uh, of course, if you are living in something like a big city, so let's say Hong Kong, uh, New York City, San Francisco, if you're doing something like that, yeah, you could probably get down, uh, get by pretty easy with just having one genre and having like everything of that genre and being like the guy or the girl for that. And everyone's like, oh yeah, you should go to this place if you like reading those books. But uh, what this genre specific stores normally work best for is like an online only sort of format or possibly a hybrid uh, format. Of course, as I said, you can do it with brick and mortar, but I would recommend doing online. Uh, when you are doing just online ones, there are even websites that sell just science fiction books. For me, I'm a science fiction fan, so that's why I know these things. But I've seen ones that are fantasy, I've seen ones that are romance, all that sort of stuff. And if that's your interest, guys, sell your interest. It's a lot more fun to sell something you're into. So you can do it, genre specific one. Another one that I've actually been exposed to a lot recently is an indie author. Uh, so indie authors are independently published authors. These are people who write their books and then they publish their books themselves. They don't go through like any of the big like HarperCollins and uh, let's see, I can't remember any more publisher names off the top of my head. Sorry guys, there are so many old publisher names that I have in my head that I can't remember the new ones. But you know, there are lots of publishers out there 
And a lot of authors go through those people. However, there's enough authors nowadays that are publishing their own books, and there's a lot of reasons for why they do that. Uh, if you guys are writing your own books or anything like that, I would personally recommend looking into indie author, uh, writing your own book and being an indie author. It's really cool. But there is a big market for people who are looking to buy books just written by indie authors. I don't know for sure if it's enough to write, uh, make an entire brick and mortar store for, but I do know of quite a few uh, bookstores around where I live, around places that I've visited, that their best-selling items are books written by local authors who independently published. I have talked with countless indie authors who write their own books and sell them in local stores. It's a big market for stuff like that. However, it does sort of hamstring you to a local market, or if that indie author is popular, you do have a really good success chance with that. Uh, indie authors, they normally get a good way to be able to buy a whole lot of their books all at once for a good deal, so you could get in on that. If you are doing those bookstores, you could maybe buy a book for five bucks off of them and sell it for eight bucks, you know, or obviously different multiples depending on what you want to do but there's a lot of things that you can do with that uh, indie authors honestly a lot of them are just hungry for sales so they negotiate probably a whole lot more for the price of books that you can buy so there could be a lot more profit for you guys to have if you focus on that uh, personally for me I, if i was doing this I would be focusing on just doing that as an online only store until i could verify that there was enough uh draw for it. There are plenty of indie authors that I know who are bestsellers, uh, New York Times bestsellers, all these sorts of things that I make millions of dollars. I know plenty of people that do that, but for me personally, I don't know if I would run a bookstore for that. Um, but if I was doing an online only one, it totally would be worth trying. So uh, the next thing that I have seen that works pretty well is a, loca sorry, is a location specific bookstore. So let's just think, look, you go to the beach, a lot of beaches have a whole lot of different books all written by local authors who write these books about this particular beach. It's like mystery stories or shipwreck stories, all these sorts of things. So for me, I go to the Oregon beach sometimes and there's a lot of different stores and the only books that they sell, it's like shelf and shelf and shelf uh, of just locally published authors about this area or even non-local published authors about the area that we are in. So. Uh, luckily for me, Oregon's like a really beautiful place and it has some really cool wildernesses and all these sorts of things. So like you can go across Oregon and it's like, oh, you have some Wild West novels set in Oregon. You have some pirate ones set in Oregon. You have uh, Lewis and Clark ones set in Oregon, all these sorts of things and all these different things. There are bookstores that sell these books. Uh, I don't normally see big bookstores that do that, but I do see a lot of books sell, sorry, a lot of bookstores that do have shelves or even sections devoted to just local uh, based and local author sort of things. So that's another thing that you guys could try out. I think that would work better as a brick and mortar thing than it would as an online thing. However, if you were doing that, there is absolutely no harm in selling them online as well. So I hope this uh, little video was really helpful for you guys. I hope my little commentary on it helped a bit more. Uh, there's a lot of things that you guys can sell if you're running your own book bookstore. There's a lot of money to be had, and there's a lot of fun, honestly, about having your own bookstore, as I mentioned in the other video. I mean, it's just fun to think that what you are... Oh, sorry. What you are selling, so just one little book right here. There's a whole world inside of every book that you're selling. So if you have, like, an entire library of books that you're selling, you have, like, portals to thousands of worlds. It's, like, really fun to think about all the life that you have inside of your bookstore if you have one and in addition to that every single book has its own life especially with antique books you know everyone has its own life because it's like oh wow according to this inscription from this guy he got this in paris during the years of world war ii which means that this guy he might have been a soldier during world war ii which means he was going and fighting nazis or maybe he was a nazi you know it's like it's crazy to think all the history that even the book itself like the physical book has not just the story in it so that's something i think is really interesting and fun about the bookstore scene and there's a lot of people i mean i know plenty of people that they've always dreamed about having a bookstore because it's such a quaint fun thing to do and uh here's a little extra type of bookstore that you can have if you're really interested in having a bookstore that's a Friends of the Library bookstore. You can do it for free, most likely, guys, too. So the way that Friends of the Library works is there are different organizations that reach out to their local library. They create a uh, nonprofit, and or sometimes they don't even do that, and they just are part of the library. But they are volunteers, and they'll sell books within the library, and they'll get money for the library. And it's a really cool thing that can help the libraries themselves. And if you guys want to try doing a bookstore, but you don't know how well it'd work, maybe you should reach out to your Friends of the Library 
group uh, or reach out to your, your library yourself and see if the library even has one and see if you can get in on either the book sale or the bookstore see if you can help see how you like that scene and that way you can start for literally for free and see if you even like doing that so i hope that helps uh if you guys want to learn more about running your own bookstores uh ebay selling all that sort of stuff be sure to subscribe below uh or right there be sure to check out one of my other videos and i'll see you guys then